So next, we have uh, Ms. Yan Geling. Uh, she's one of the most acclaimed Chinese writer and who can both you know, write and publish in both English and Chinese. She has published over 20 books in China, Hong Kong, Taiwan, US, UK, and elsewhere. And she has won over 30 literary and film awards. And several of her works have been adopted for film, including the most famous, Jin Lin Shi San Tai, The Flowers of War, and Coming Home, Gui Lai, both directed by uh, Zhang Yimou. So without further ado, let's welcome uh, Yan Geling. Um, well, uh, so maybe you can start like sharing your story about okay. um, you know, how you started as a writer. Okay. And both um, in English and Chinese. <laughs> um, well, I think uh, uh, the previous uh, uh, speakers uh, uh, took care of the hardware problems. Now I'm taking care of the software problems. The, ma the matter of mind, right? <laughs> um, yes, I... Uh, uh, to share with you a little bit of my personal experience, uh, I uh, joined army uh, in uh, when I was uh, 12 as uh, a dancer, uh, ballet dancer for uh, for the army's uh, performing troupe. I was touring uh, with my uh, uh, troupe uh, around Tibetan areas, uh, 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 giving performances to. Uh, a you know, both uh, uh, the soldiers and uh, and the Tibetan people. So I was uh, kind of exposed to different uh, beliefs, uh, different ideas, and a different culture when I was uh, young. That was my uh, uh, lucky uh, karma. So I think. Um, uh, uh, from my background, my uh, my uh, father was my actually edu educator, and because when I started my schooling, the schools in China all shut up, <laughs> shut off, shut, shut up too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so uh, my father's library, uh, uh, which uh, uh, contains uh, you, you, you can. I imagine uh, all the classics uh, in and uh, abroad and uh, or China uh, in the west or east so he uh, was uh, he inherited a lot of books from his father so the private uh, uh, collection of uh, books are just more than enough for a kid like uh, like me and uh, so and when I was uh, in the army I was you know the the, the a weirdo because I was I was from this uh, uh, intellectual company and a uh, uh, family, and there was a uh, 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 father was uh, condemned to a counter-revolutionary writer. Uh, he is a writer too, so this is a family business of writing. Uh, <coughs> then I, uh, uh, I was like a little survivor. I observed people. I developed my sixth six sense. And to uh, to to survive in this uh, male-dominated and uh, dominated uh, and uh, adults uh, world, so I uh, have, uh, have developed this uh, uh, habit of uh, shutting my mouth more than you know, and uh, keep my eyes and ears open all the time to watch out for myself. Then, so I think that is the experience I had and the other kids didn't have and to learn to survive in adults' uh, world and to learn to uh, observe you know, observing other people like uh, Tibetans, uh, Yi people, Yi Zhu, you know, yeah, because our mm, uh, my uh, regiment was covering Tibetan area and uh, and uh, uh, the Yi, uh, you know, Liang Shan, Da Liang Shan, Da Xiao Liang Shan. Um, then until uh, 1979. Uh, the uh, border war, uh, border conflict between Vietnam and uh, China uh, took place. And uh, so I was, you know, I, I'm always uh, very curious. And I, back then, I, 
was a very heroic. You know, we we worshipped so many heroes like uh, you know Wang Jie, you know Yin Xiong Er Nü, you know so so many heroes, and I wanted to be in the front and uh, to 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 be a real soldier because I never never uh, uh, experienced a real war. That was you know like uh, my time is finally arrived. So I uh, applied for a job. I was. Uh, um, you know, barely 20, and uh, the, I applied for a job as a war per, uh, uh, correspondent, and because there was a big lack of it, and so I got, uh, uh, you know, admitted. Then, uh, then by Mulan. <laughs> yeah, so I went to the front, actually not the real front, because, uh, uh, but the, the, the field uh, hospital uh, with uh, the other uh, girl soldiers uh, uh, who are nurses or the army doctors to take care of these wounded. Um, and uh, you know, the first night, it was like uh, I, I, I arrived there the third night of the, uh, the, the wars uh, happened, that happened. Um, so I saw the, the, the night, uh, you know, the you know, more than one thousand soldiers were wounded and carried it, uh, to the to the to the tents. It was uh, horrible. You know, it was uh, you know each. Uh, then I in the following days I uh, interviewed these wounded soldiers. So I got the. Then I it turned me from the he heroism into um, the forever peacekeeper. So I. From that point, I thought my life as a dancer is the dancing is too limited to I express myself. I wanted to express my feelings about war, about heroism, about uh, patriotism, even. And so uh, I started to question what is a heroism compared with a human life? You know, what is w worth killing so many young lives and wounding them? Then, you know, so that. My father's genes start to kick in, and as <laughs> um, as uh, um, uh, a very human person, very very uh, 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 so who is uh, uh, you know very human and very uh, soft-hearted person. Um, so from that point, I switched just like overnight from a dancer to a writer. And I, from that point, I started to, to publish my uh, sh uh, first uh, the short, uh, short uh, story, uh, not uh, uh, reportages and uh, and uh, and the poems. And the, the, from that point on, I never stopped writing. And and I was uh, yeah, it went very well. And uh, and I'm ma uh, very manic. Uh, person, <laughs> so I, uh, I, I think um, um, creativity and uh, my creation is my, a symptom of my being manic. Um, mm, so I think uh, I'm very lucky to have this uh, uh, es this creative energy, and I think uh, uh, what you asked about what China lack, and uh, I I was uh, thinking about this is. Uh, uh, originality, and uh, I think uh, um, uh, to to oh, I so far uh, no matter what form of art, uh, either movie script or uh, uh, my uh, stories, I always try to find a new form, new uh, 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 style for this story, this particular story. So in uh, my uh, uh, novel, uh, The Lost Daughter of Happiness, uh, or in China, Chinese, the name Fu Sang. Okay, yeah, I tried to, you know, this, uh, I was writing the historical uh, uh, story, but is that interesting enough? Is that worth me while to create this uh, 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 story without my 
uh, this uh, very contemporary uh, uh, voice, I said, no, I have to have a contemporary voice, which is uh, the newest uh, new immigrant interviewing this uh, prostitute who was, so, who was uh, sold to San Francisco during the gold rush, and uh, what is in common and the change between the two uh, waves of immigration and the two uh, 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 women, you know, two women who are both brought to the U United States by the similar idea of bettering ourselves. Um, so that was the the most exciting uh, idea that uh, uh, triggered my in imagination and uh, and uh, creativity to create this uh, this novel. So I think I all I always look for uh, the most original part of this uh, each uh, work, and uh, you know I cook very well, but I never like a recipe, and I don't like a formula. You know, in uh, uh, when I uh, work for Hollywood or when I work for for you know uh, to write script, and then Hollywood has one saying: it says. It doesn't work, you know, because uh, why? Because you don't have this kind of, you know, um, uh, first crisis. Then, then the, you don't know. No, you tell story. There is like a formula. If you don't go by this formula, the, it doesn't work, you know. You don't you see it doesn't work? Yeah, yeah. This is very uh, so. I, if the, somebody says this, then I said okay, bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, Where did this come from? You know, just like how you turn from dancer to a writer, you had this deep reflection of yourself. And we were just talking with some, uh, um, you know, speakers at lunch. It's not usual for Chinese to have this, you know, critical thinking and deep reflection. Um, in Chinese people see s security is so important. You know, if you question something. Um, it, it's it's not secured, you know. It's not safe. Um, I think you know for so many years, five thousand years, let's say, Chinese people suffered uh, from war after war and uh, famine after famine. Of course, the security is uh, so important. So education is to secure your life. But in China, the kids are education educated to beyond their intelligence, okay? <laughs> this, this point, they're buried by education. There's no room left in their mind for, for their creativity, for, for them to risk. You know, create means risk. You know, you don't know what you're going. But going to unknown, is that the most exciting thing? You know, to, to write every day, I write into unknown. That unknown is so chancy. It, you, you, you might not get it. You might, it doesn't, maybe it doesn't take you anywhere. But that is the most exciting thing because it's, 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 it's uncertain. It, it, it can surprise you in a happy way. Or if, it can disappoint you, you know, put you, you know, put you where you are, you know. So I, I, I think uh, the education to here is uh, is very bad, you know. I, uh, I. But you're so talented, right? I think for most people, uh, why they want to go by the rules and go by the formula is because it does give them the security. Right. Because yeah. For for originality, most of ninety percent of people will probably fail. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, in China, it's it's a, such a competition. You know, um, my neighbor's kids go to that school. You know, he gets this grade, these grades. That's uh, all the pressure to put on the parents. And even my neighbor girl got a Louis Vuitton bag. That can make you unhappy because that's the pressure. Other people, how other people do? You know, it's in the density of this kind of population, everything other people do become your standard. Then other people's education level becomes you know, pressure for the, the rest of the parents. I think this is so foolish. 
You know, that's why we cannot see enough originality in China. I was, you know, unfortunately, I don't have a, a formal schooling, but I'm fortunately to, to be left alone to do my, you know, whatever I wanted to do. My father was a, such a free thinker. You know, he, he never told me you cannot read these uh, obscene books, you know, Qi Xiang Ji, what, you know, my father. <laughs> I have, uh, uh, you know, uh, the big books uh, uh, inherited from my grandpa. Now, the Xi Xiangji was uh, very big, very thick, and then on this side is all, all porno drawings uh, <laughs> from ancient. You How know, old the, were you when you were reading it? Maybe seven, eight, I don't care. But it was pic zau shou, zau shou. <laughs> With the pictures, I don't know the, well, what uh, these uh, men and women doing, uh, but <laughs> so um, and uh, you know you uh, it leave your uh, I think it uh, leave them to decide what they want to do. It's the best way to find the creators, yeah, and um, and don't give them some room. You know, if you 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 uh, you, you uh, crowded all their spaces, you know, out then. They have to uh, grow the in a certain way, you know. They they also consider the security is a such important problems. Um, well, I in my uh, novel uh, called Lao Shi Hao Mei, in English name is uh, uh, with love uh, uh, to my teacher with love. Um, I address this problem, you know. The I I said um, uh, I. Hope I'm heard uh, by, by the educational department ministry, and you know we can't uh, 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 let our kids suffer like this anymore. You know, they, they, you know, there's no fun to be a kid anymore in in China nowadays. You know, they're so you know. Uh, <laughs> No, I think you know, from their body uh, uh, posture and everything, they're, s they're suffering slightly the, the depression, you know. And we don't uh, uh, care if they have hormonal problems, you know. We, you, you, <laughs> you to be kids and to be youth in China is, uh, um, so I think from my experience and my uh, growing up, uh, 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 coming of age, uh, all these uh, periods of my life, uh, I think um, now I, um, mm, I'm harvesting uh, from my father's free thinkers uh, education. You know, yeah, my father tried to teach me mathematics, but a fraction, yeah, so I got slapped because <laughs> I couldn't concentrate. Um, so well, what has a U.S. education brought to you? How has it influenced you? You know, I started to learn uh, English at 30, uh, and I published my uh, uh, novel written directly uh, in uh, English uh, in 2007. And it was very well received, and it was uh, called uh, 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 Bedtime Story uh, by BBC. It was a uh, uh, pro uh, Broadcast it as uh, as a uh, no, uh, as a novel, you know, and um, that, that that was my uh, first and only English uh, novel I wrote directly in English. So now we are doing a movie based on this too. Yeah. Uh, so um, yes, I I don't know what. Uh, um, I think uh, mm, uh, U.S. Uh, uh, experience made me, um, you know, I never take care, uh, never take anything for granted. And uh, when I came to U.S., I, uh, you know, I just overthrew, uh, overthrew all my uh, Chinese successes, and I was, uh, I got, uh, I uh, published, uh, had published three novels. Uh, before I came to this country. So I actually just uh, chucked it back, you know, I ch just uh, started uh, all here in the U.S. Uh, anew. Uh, so it was a uh, uh, second uh, period of my uh, highest uh, crea creativity, uh, 
to be found in this country because uh, as an immigrant, you have so many to learn, things to learn. You learn how to do the cash machine first. We, 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 yeah, and then you know uh, how to learn how to turn on the faucets in different bath bathrooms. I was very embarrassed because sometimes I can't get the water out. <laughs> sometimes you use, you say to step on it. You know, different uh, faucets that makes me, you know, it's very, you know, you are, in the, always in the agitated, l slightly agitated state. That means you're learning, you're growing. You know, that's good. You know, that makes you more sensitive. You know, when you are painfully sensitive, you find the stories. You know, you find uh, um, uh, uh, people's experiences so interesting. And um, I have a, a, a short story written uh, 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 just by an image of uh, um, very beautiful, very uh, lazy and uh, delicate uh, a lady's uh, uh, nightgown. It was uh, uh, putting in the window, um, half outside, half inside, in, in the, in the uh, foggy sunshine. You know, and it was the, the uh, still dripping with, uh, you know, uh, uh, water. Uh, so I thought, you know, this is more sexy than a woman itself, uh, herself, <laughs> yeah. and it's so beautiful. It's it's it's, uh, you know. If, what if uh, I were a uh, um, man just uh, immigrated from the uh, from China, and I, I in the very um, lonely and um, um, the state? If, what if if I? see this thing, this beautiful, beautiful uh, a representative of a woman. Um, so I think I would be wound, swooned. So I wrote this whole story is about a man's fantasy about uh, his uh, landlady. That's all he saw about the landlady. Okay, so I think that if I were not that sensitive, I couldn't imagine this uh, story. Um, so uh, being an immigrant and uh, the new experience uh, I ha had, have had in, uh, as a student and uh, a person who's dumb with languages, slow with talk, uh, uh, speaking, and so everything goes internally and turning into stories. And so that was my biggest harvest when of stories when I first to, uh, came to this country. Then I became you know, ed, uh, uh, tired of uh, living in the same place. So I uh, t uh, went to, uh, to Africa, to Asia, to Europe with my husband. Mm, uh, since he was a U.S. Uh, diplomat, so we were stationed. Uh, you know, so I, I'm very much enjoying my uh, gypsy life. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's always a put you in, in a new perspective, and you make you uh, never take anything for granted. And you always have a distance to criticize and to uh, to you know, watch w what you. You know the, the countries, the culture, and the compare. You know you cannot understand anything fully without comparison. You know you com you compare, then you realize ah, oh, the Chinese is uh, is such a, a, a unique um, race, and the Chinese words is so so do different when you compare with other languages. So I appreciate Chinese as language more and more. I, it's so uh, so subtle and uh, so, uh, how to say, you know, it's so uh, 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 exceptional language. We are developed from uh, uh, graphics, you know. And then each word actually uh, influenced you uh, subconsciously as a, a, a Picture. So this picture, this uh, fossil, uh, actually, it's a, it's a very ancient. Uh, we are developed from a, a cave writing, a cave uh, uh, paintings, cave uh, drawings. So if I don't compare with all these languages, uh, and uh, I cannot uh, really appreciate um, uh, Chinese. So I, what I 
do is very simple but very difficult, just to guard Chinese and write Chinese into a beautiful language that is worth uh, uh, appreciate, appreciation by the whole world. I think nowadays more and more uh, Westerners are learning Chinese. I hope I can write a be more beautiful Chinese for them to read. That's all. Thank you.